Here we have a uh, riser that I purchased with money that I took from you not long ago. And the uh, topic of our video today is going to be risers and why they give us hell uh, once in a blue moon. But first we have a word from our sponsor, PCBWay. They're a Chinese based company. They make PCBs such as this Gigabyte, the Holy of Holies. Literally, it has a hole on the PCB. So you can see it right there. And if that isn't enough, this is the ASUS right there with a huge crack. Also designed and made possible by PCBWay. PCBWay, yay, all the way. And if you're gay, go see PCBWay and they'll get you straight. <laughs> oh god, I hope I don't get cancelled. Okay, let me go ahead and switch you over to the main screen right there. So what do we have here is basically we have 12 volt coming into here. Then that gets a drop down to 5 using this buck converter. Then we take 5 volt and we drop it even lower to 3.3 volt, effectively being able to supply 3.3 volt onto the PCI Express uh, slot. Now the 12 volt and the 12 volt on the PCI Express slot, they are in parallel. So they, they connect straight across. There's no circuit that either amplifies or do, does anything other than filtering uh, using the capacitors along the line. The one thing to consider when you're using these risers is the power cable that they come in with. Some cards like to pull a lot of the amps through the PCI Express slot. And so if you open up the GPU-Z and you start seeing that your voltage on the PCI Express is low, then most likely the culprit for that is not the adapter itself, but the source from which this adapter gets its voltage. Now, in my case, I have a modular power supply, which allows me to plug a cable into whatever hole I want. And so if I plug this adapter through some kind of a cable, a SATA cable, into the PCI Express slot, then I will get full power. If I plug this into the SATA slot, then I will not get full power because the SATA cables aren't really designed or don't really require high power delivery. So if you're using this, and you're not getting your power from PCI Express voltage supplies, but rather using uh, SATA voltage supplies, then you might be in for some trouble. But this wasn't the problem because we weren't noticing any voltage drop in our 12 uh, volt uh, supplies on the PCI Express rail. So we could throw this away because we don't need this. The way I power these on is I use uh, an extension cable that you've probably seen me uh, in the last video. Even though the riser in itself is very well designed and they're all about the same and they're really not a, there's really no point of failure on the risers themselves. The point of failure comes inside the slot where we have wear of the gold-plated fingers. They wear when you plug GPUs in and out all day, several times a day, maybe 1,000 times a day or 3,000 times a day. PCB way, now pay me for advertising you twice. And so the other point of failure would be the adapters themselves that go inside the PCI Express slot on your motherboard. If you're the kind of guy that likes to have them in and out all the time, then these adapters, they have very little gold plating on them, making them last significantly less number of insertions in compared to a standard gold plated fingers on the GPU. You can even see that they actually look a little different. It's kind of hard to spot, but they are a little lighter. Maybe this angle is a little better here, which indicates a, a lot less gold coating on here, which makes them wear out a whole lot sooner. With that out of the way, uh, when we're replacing a riser, we're replacing the adapter at the same time uh, if we are the ones that are plugging in and out all the time. I like to leave mine plugged in and never bother with it. So that way, all I have to replace is the riser. Now, as mentioned by one of uh, my viewers on the last video, they could have been the cable. And there's really no way that I can test any of these cables for, an, uh, for the data rate, specifically uh, the data rate on the data pins. I, there's just no way that I can test this. Maybe you have a way to test this, that would be great, because um, please share your thoughts and comments about this. How do you go about testing these cables' abilities to transfer data rate so that uh, we can all kind of gauge what cables are good and which ones are bad. Maybe we can stop wasting money. So I don't think we have a problem with the cable in terms of voltage uh, being, a being able to deliver enough power. I think the problem is with the, with the wires that are delivering the data 
on the uh, data lines and uh, but I don't know I don't really know how to test this if you have any way of testing it please share how would you go about testing the data transfer of these cables given the fact that they're both male on both ends because you know male to male doesn't really work very well I don't know if you've tried it or not don't really need to try it to know that these things don't really fit you need a female to 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 fit you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's something James. So please don't don't cancel me. I I have a million dollar house and a wife and kids to feed. I also need to buy a helicopter. And I'm also on vacation, which doesn't pay for itself. So let's switch you over to the main screen. And what we're going to do now is we're going to this demonstrate this live here on the live TV. Okay, so let's take this brand new cable from a riser kit with a brand new adapter, plug that into the motherboard and into the riser, which is exactly the same riser as this. Power on, see what happens. There we have it. The motherboard is complaining about something, almost as if we have an error or detection problems or something. So let's turn that off. Let's ditch that cable, this blue cable, disconnect it right away. And let's use another cable that I bought, uh, that I had laying around in my drawer for quite some time. I don't know which uh, riser I purchased this cable with. I think it came with the, this particular riser. This one is a version 009S, as you can see there. Uh, but uh, my understanding is versions of risers don't matter because the point of failure is not the riser, unless we're talking regular wear and tear on the gold-plated pins. So we're gonna take that there, plug this in as before, and see if we get a picture this time. So let's switch you over to the side so you can see the proof. And right there, one happy beep, monitors responded, and we're gonna get a picture in just a second. There it is. That's it for this video. I hope you've learned something today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Visit the link of our sponsor in the description below and we'll fix something else in the next one.